Alright everybody, I'm sorry I had to film I have to film this in 720p 30 frames per second. It's because I have a lot of memory on my you know, storage device on my blog and I don't feel plan I don't have the time or desire to be deleting everything. So let's do this in 30 frames per second, which gives me nine minutes. First, uh, this is what I want to show you. That's right. We have our SXL EX panel set up. It's a Siemens. Here's a little controller board. The thing is, I really don't ha know how to work it. Let's open it up. So here's a little diagram board. Um, here's the inside. There's the spare key. Um, there's the battery to it. And here's a little buzzer. It shows trouble for some reason, but I don't know. That heat, that uh, that thing right there. That little gold thing or silver thing right there. I think it's really hot for some reason. Like. I put my hand over and it gets like I can feel the heat. This heat sink doesn't do too good, obviously. You can hear that relay clicking every once in a while. And yeah, this is a four zone conventional fire alarm panel where the four zone and four relay panel, four relay thing has been added to it. So I guess this thing's just hot because it's been charging, but. So now this thing does have conventional eight zones to it. I can't program it because I don't have a module to program it, which kind of really sucks. And there's the transformer. It's hot right now. But yeah, this supplies 24 volts of power and it has acknowledge, reset, drill, and silence. I don't have an alarm hooked up because I really don't know how to hook one up. There's the alarm relay, but I really don't want to hook up to the alarm relay because I don't, even though I press silence, it'll still be on. That's what I have to do, I'll do it. So, let's pull it. You see flashes on zone one. Even though I have all the resistors in it, um, it doesn't, uh, it still shows trouble. See it, and then it'll express acknowledge. Then it goes steady. Now let's press silence. And you can hear the relay tick. And then it starts showing bypass alarm silence. Now let's press reset. Yeah. And where's my B key? I don't want this thing to go back and go around. Guess what? It's dead. This thing gets really kind of tricky when it goes back and go around. You have to see. There. This is a weird function. You have to like press um, acknowledge and silence and reset. You can't just press reset. I don't know, let's see. No, you can't. Okay, now it's starting giving me a little trouble. Okay, now it now it's verified the zone somehow. Which is not zone two. See you can't press reset, you have to press acknowledge. Yeah, but you can't you just have to acknowledge it first. It came with eight of these smoke detectors too, brand new. Dude, they didn't they didn't come with the box, but I'll take this off if I can show you. Let me stick this down. Okay, there we go. See there it is in there, and then here's the model number right here. If it, if you want to buy one, I can sell one too. We have eight of them. The rest of them are in that box right there. But as you can see, this flashing trouble, but it's not showing a trouble. See? Then here's the big panel door. So here's the key. Look at this. It's see, it's like that, and you can't take the key out in the unlock position, which I like and dislike for many reasons. But I'm gonna hook this up. I really don't know how to right now, but I will. I'm gonna start it up, but yeah. Let's, let's pull this one more time. Just for the heck of it. See? It goes into alarm and has a slight delay. Yeah, that's it. Acknowledge. Silence. See? There's the under, there's the inside of it. Yep, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.